Hello, welcome to Pursuit of Perfect System. I'm Terry Ellis. I'm an audio reviewer and direct live calibrator. In this video, we're doing a song demonstration for the Bowser Wilkins 603 speakers as part of their review. Now, if you want to know what a system is and what it isn't, make sure you go and watch the very first video I created for this little series of song demonstrations. Obviously, it's part of the review. And there's four, this is the fourth one. There's three others, all three different types of music. Stuff you know, stuff you can relate to, not typical audio file stuff. Well, I suppose one of them is, but not typical audio file stuff really and stuff you can relate to. And it, I always link the albums that I use down below in the video description with a link to go and buy them from Amazon because I want you to support the artists and I, I hope I encourage people to find and discover new music that they might like and take the, you know, buy the CD, listen to it your own system, see how it compares to this video in, in terms of like a representation. I appreciate it's YouTube, it's a bit of compression, stuff like that. Just quickly, thanks to Neutronix for loaning us a sample for review. Obviously website link down below, or website is down below. If you're interested in buying the speakers, I'd suggest speaking to them because they do give you fantastic service and I really appreciate the support they give me in loaning me these speakers for review. So this next song is off the brand new Christine and the Queens album, which is called Chris, the, the English version because you get an English and a French version. And this is Goya Soda. And the reason I use it is because it's intense. This puts your system under pressure from an intensity point of view with some big powerful bass. How does it all cope with it? We'll have a listen and we'll talk about it after. Let's play. So that I'm pleased. So that I'm pleased. He's been miserable thanks to his particular base. Soft and liquid, the tracking feet and cut on my face. An illusion is youth is distilling around As you thought you let it up Fires are sunk deep in the ground Hey He's always on my side But never on me Though always to get that There's nothing to see To love him is to scare Show you too 
So, oops. there's so much there to pay attention to in the video. I say it's a very, very intense song with a lot going on. So it's very easy to trip up a speaker, I think, in terms of timing, certainly in dynamics, in bass extension, treble extension, how it lays a sound stage out, how it copes with all that intensity and stuff. So when you listen back, maybe even I'd suggest when you go back and watch this video again, listen to the bass extension from these speakers. You hear them drop down smoothly and evenly. Now, a lot of, part of that, a big part of that, is to do with direct live the calibration that I've run. I've got it absolutely nailed on in terms of this room and the speakers and stuff. But you know, the speakers need to be able to deliver that, and the amplifier needs to control the speakers in order to be able to deliver the deeper bass notes. As it drops down, you hear it. You don't hear the speakers. There's no chuffing. There's no. There's no chuffing. There's no distortion. They don't run out of puff. They just run out of extension, and they do so in a really smooth and even way. Which is why in the very first video. I created for the Baz Wilkins. I said they've got the speakers very well sorted, and that's a, that's a funny way of explaining it. But you know, when you listen to bass quality like that, where you just hear it drop smooth all the way down until the extension roll, until you hear the speakers roll off and they run out of extension, but smoothly and evenly, you know they've done a bloody good job in terms of creating their speakers. And when you think of the price, twelve hundred and forty-nine pounds. <laughs> Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic speakers. Well done, Bowers and Wilkins, for delivering that level of sound quality at that price tag in a very attractive, uh, in a very attractive package. That it's very exciting and interesting and fun to listen to. They're not perfect, you know what I mean? They're not perfect speakers, but for the bloody money, for the money, you know. But factor in, there's a lot in this room and in this system that's pushing these to sound as good as they are. And there's a lot of really good stuff in here really really good stuff and the room acoustically treated room and the music server the cabling the mains conditioning the mains cables there's a lot of really good stuff in here which is allowing these to sound as good as they do but they sound really really good not just for the price point they just sound really good anyway so well done bowser wilkins absolutely stellar pair of speakers there which i'm sure is going to make a load of people happy because it's going to give them you know a really fundamental good quality performance for I'm going to use the word modest outlay. I'm not trying to be facetious in, in, in using that, but when you compare to lots of other speakers on the market, which can cost ten times as much as that, obviously they're going to give you more performance. But factoring down, scaling down, you get a really good performance here for the money. The build quality is nice. They look nice. The packaging they come in, I think, is really clever. You know, they're not overly heavy, so they're easy to move around. Very domestically friendly. You're not going to upset the wife or anything like that with these. Um, yeah, Bowers and Wilkins, 600 range. There's a reason it's been around for 20 odd years. And that's because it's bloody good. You know what I mean? They're bloody good speakers for the money. So that is it for the song demonstrations. I'll be back for the full review because I've told you a lot there, but there's a lot to talk about with these in terms of performance, things that I haven't told you about and stuff. So I'll be back for that. So make sure you come back and check it out. Uh, visit website. There's loads of stuff on there. As always, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Click the notification bell. 
that's Christina and the Queens. There'll be a link down below to go and buy the album from Amazon. You have to buy the album. She's a fantastic artist. You need to support great artists like that, so they keep giving us great albums to listen to. So make sure you go and buy that album. You can buy it on vinyl as well. And by all accounts, the vinyl album is supposed to be absolutely killer. Again, I'll link that down below. And I'll be seeing you for the review of the 603s. See you soon. Take care. Thanks for watching.